Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to give you another daily dose, I guess, of Dismal Disney, but also Nick and Cartoon Network. We're going to talk about how viewers are tuning out mm -hmm. in droves. And, and we've done a video uh, talking about this before, that it does seem like kids especially are tuning out from network TV. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's become more and more apparent that uh, it's it's bad. It's really bad. Well, I think people are going to streaming or they're mostly going to places like YouTube. And we're going to we're going to pull up some YouTube stats and see just how bad these network numbers are by comparison. Mm -hmm. And we're dealing primarily again with uh, channels that run animation, uh, Disney, Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network. Uh, this is coming from Cartoon Brew, so they deal primarily with animation, obviously. Right, right. But it came uh, from an article from Variety, which had uh, several networks in it. Yeah, and we're going to talk about all this. So mm -hmm. before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 250,000 subs. Woo, yeah! Uh, finally, thank you. Finally, thank you for the support. Uh, greatly appreciate it. We do talk about uh, animation, comic books, video games, whatever interests us that day. We talk a lot about Disney and the animation industry and the business side of, of all of this stuff. And, uh, you know, people are moving on to other platforms. Mm -hmm. Mostly YouTube. Yeah, I think a lot of it. That and TikTok. And TikTok. Uh, basically, they're not watching TV the way we used to watch TV. Nope. And so, you know, especially with kids. I mean, geez, our kids grew up literally watching YouTube. They did. Oh. Well, a lot of the shows they wanted, they watched it on YouTube because we didn't, you know, have the dish or whatever. So they'd yeah. watch it on there. Yeah, and I remember them watching like Annoying Orange in the mornings before mm -hmm. they go to school and all that. And uh, man, that's like yesteryears, mm -hmm. yesteryears YouTube. But let's talk about this. Uh, this is coming from Cartoon Brew via Variety, and we'll talk about the, the numbers, but there are double digit ratings losses again. Mm -hmm. We and, talked about something like this before a few months ago, I think. Yeah, and it does seem like the place to go for animation now is streaming, streaming services, you know, Netflix and uh, HBO Max, and yeah. it does seem like the business model shifting too. Like I was watching Nickelodeon with my nephew the other day. He was watching SpongeBob, and we were watching it. They had a commercial for the new Star Trek cartoon, and it's like, oh, they're going to run it on Nickelodeon. No, you have to subscribe to Paramount mm -hmm. Plus to to watch it. I think that's the, that's what the appeal of places like YouTube and stuff are. Is you don't have to subscribe to 101 different yeah. subscription services to watch it. Yeah, until they they rip YouTube apart and. You know, everybody gets their own streaming deal and give it about 10 years. Yeah. We'll see where we're at. But anyway, uh, Cartoon Brew. As long Brew, as we get a deal. <laughs> as long as we get a deal, it will build that life raft. We'll yep. get on out of here. Uh, Disney, Nick, and Cartoon Network's uh, double-digit ratings plummet again this year. If you work for Disney, see, this is an industry mag, right? If you work for Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, or Cartoon Network, you may want to look away now. And <laughs> That's funny. Cartoon Network <laughs> in particular has been gutting you know, it's programming. We, yeah. we saw a lot of shows get canceled. Uh, people were really mad about the Owl House getting canceled at Disney. And really, it's all about streaming. And, you know, these these uh, cartoon shows are expensive. You know, even a, a, a quote, unquote, cheap show is still half million dollars right. an episode. It's not, it's, yeah, it's not inexpensive. It, now, they do give the numbers here. And if you look at the Variety original article, um, they didn't, they're, you're adding zeros to the end. So yeah, you're it's adding like three five zeros. Million. So yeah. it's 5.5 million, et cetera, et cetera. Here with the article, they've already added the zeros for you. Yeah, so this is showing the decline in um, all the animation related channels. Adult Swim down 25%, Nickelodeon down 32%, Disney Junior 17%, Disney Channel 35%, Nick Junior 31%. Well, we're going to argue that they're going to the streaming versions probably. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Cartoon Network's down again, you know, the Teen Titans Go mm. channel, uh, Disney XD. Uh, didn't drop that much, actually, but Disney XD has never really been that popular. It, it hasn't. No, it really, it really wasn't. You know, Nick Tunes, I forgot that was even a thing. I did too, actually. <laughs> so it's like. Now, one thing that was interesting from the original article, which you don't have to go back to, but I know they're saying some of the biggest hit, hardest hit um, for, were news outlets because people are yeah. just sick of, of shit. Yeah, I think I think the news has become so polarizing, it's very hard to find objective <laughs> news. Well, yeah, that's, that's it. Objective news. Objective yeah. is the key word. Yeah, I mean, every news outlet, I don't care which one it is. I mean, you watch it and it's these these uh, anchor people, the talking heads, they always have to interject their own personal hot takes into a situation, digs against, you know, the mm -hmm. other side. And it's become very polarizing. And people are like, I, I just, 
I just want the news. I just found it interesting that that was like the one that took the most, you know, was gutted the most was the news. Um, So they ranked the 50 of the top rated networks for the 18 to 49 bracket and three of the animation broadcasters made the list. Adult Swim, no surprise there. Nickelodeon and Disney Junior. Disney Junior surprises me, but okay. Yeah, Disney Junior, they've actually got, well... Okay. Maybe they'll let their kids watch it. I don't know. We're we're going to talk about that because really where a lot of these networks are getting dinged is children's content, preschool content. YouTube has become the place to go for preschool uh-huh. content. Um, you know, Coco Melon is everywhere. Well, you know, because it's like well, you can go to YouTube and watch it, you know, for free. Yeah. It's like Sesame Street. You used to be able to watch it for free and now you have to put it behind a paywall. So the people that it was intended for don't get it until, you know, way after the mm-hmm. fact. So uh, they go on to say these numbers are on par with the drops of the past two years mm-hmm. and continue a downward trend that began before uh, Before that. Since 2014, Disney Channel has lost 88% of its total audience, and Adult Swim has dropped by 71%. Cartoon Network is down by 79%, and Nickelodeon down by 75% since 2016. But here's where it gets really interesting, and we're going to talk about that. This is exactly what we're talking about. The context, of course, is the rise of streaming platforms and video sharing platforms whose viewership is not included. Yes. You, I had to dig, guys, to find information. I had to actually just go straight to people's, you know, um, site, social blades and stuff like that yeah. because I couldn't find it. They, they keep talking about the network, but they don't put it in context. Uh, for years, kids' cable broadcasters have been hemorrhaging viewers to these services, chiefly Netflix and YouTube. And yeah, even Netflix, they just recently you know, kind of lifted the veil on their numbers because, mm-hmm. you know, these these services don't have to provide any kind of third-party reporting. I think they're going to have to eventually because, you know, advertisers want to know that they're actually paying for eyeballs, not just, you know, Well, trust it's us. interesting because um, the reason we brought this up is because Netflix, uh, no, this isn't, this is back in October. Um, they're, they've had how many? Uh, 214 million paid subscribers. Okay, and Disney, which I thought I had, but I don't have here. What's it, like 118? And this one says Disney Plus has 118 million global paid subscribers. Global. Global. So the reason I'm mentioning that is because when you go and actually look at the channels that are the ones that have are the most, this is update, the data daily, highest rated channels. Um, they're talking like in subscribers, this is a Hindi channel, 203 million subscribers. Coco Melon. You know Coco Melon, your kids talk about it all the time. There's toys galore at Walmart. Uh, Coco Melon, 125 million subscribers just for Coco Melon. And Disney has, what, 118 million yeah. globally? So, I mean, they could argue that, you know, revenue wise, uh, you know, well, hey, we're charging people 10, 20 bucks a, a head, you know, to be subscribed. So we're making more money. Well, yeah, but total eyeballs, like you take all these channels and add them together, YouTube still has the lion's share of Where is most of the advertising money going? It's usually going to places like YouTube. Yeah. Well, we've noticed that too in in terms of uh, blogs. And and you're going to see, you know, BuzzFeed, and they always talk about like pivoting the video Mm -hmm. because the ad spend is going to video because people know more people watch video now. But blogs, uh, you know, banner ad revenue is dropping off a cliff. Google has decided they were going to stop using tracking cookies. And I think part of the reason they're doing that is to push people in the video. And that's all run through YouTube, mm-hmm. you know. And, yeah, so it's 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 interesting because it's like a nothing burger. Like all this talk about streaming and compared to well, YouTube, Well, look, look, look at some of these numbers, right? Millions of subscribers. Okay, PewDiePie, 111 million. Okay, so you go to the most watched networks, and these are in millions, okay? Mm. Viewers, 5 million, 5 million, 4 million, 3 million, 2 million. Cocomelon, 125 million. PewDiePie, 111 million. Mr. Beast, 86.8 million. Yeah. You know, so you can see here that the reason the numbers are probably going down. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely. Yeah, and they're, they're trying to compete with YouTube, but YouTube is free, you know, basically. And what's going on, though, is, you know, there's uh, it definitely feels like there's a kind of a war on YouTubers. Mm-hmm. And I think a lot of it is because they know the ad dollars Money. are all going over there. So we have YouTubers taking this line share. You have streaming services, as they admitted in the article, taking a lot of the, the eyeballs, especially for kids. Mm-hmm. Um, like they're stepping up their animation like crazy over there. And yep. a lot of these places right now are currently looking for, you know, young animated animated series. Mm-hmm. I know we ourselves have pitched to places and they're like, well, right now we're looking for kids shows, you know? Uh, yeah. Well, there's a reason for that because, you know. Yeah, I pulled this up. So, yeah, Coco Melon. Yes. 
<laughs> Almost 3 billion views. Yeah. 3 billion views in a and month. And then their estimated earnings are 8.9 million to 142.1 million is their yearly earnings. Uh, it's more than that. I know I'm sure it is more than that. Figure the marketing, uh, all the, uh, the time deals. merch. Yeah. yeah That's just for views, okay? Yeah. And like here, they went up another million on the twenty on Christmas of uh, subscribers, and they get uh, 109 million, 117 million, 118 million, 124 million views per day. Per day. Per day. <laughs> per day. Um, I, I put up some of these other ones. Okay, like, hey, Blippi, you know, another one you've seen toys for and everything else. Yeah. When, before he, you know, prior to when he was a kid show and he crapped on his friend, <laughs> now he's ma- he's getting, you know, uh, he's at 14.6 million subs and getting 10 million, 23 million, 11 million video views a day, 866.3 thousand to 13.9 million yearly, not counting brand deals. Okay. Markiplier. I'm only bringing up a few that I can think of top of my head. Uh, daily, 15.4 million, 25 million, 28 million views a day. Uh, 827.6 thousand to 13.2 million a year, not counting brand deals. Yep. Um, little baby bum. Little baby bum. That sounds like a dirty channel. I don't even know about these because uh, my sister works with little little kids, and these are some of the things that got brought up. Uh, baby bum. 8 million, 7 million, uh, 12 million. These are the viewers per day. Mr. Beast, because he was at the top of the list. Uh, you know, 14 million, 12 million, you know, 13 million a day. Uh, PewDiePie, everybody knows PewDiePie. Um, 2.8 million, 3.4 million, 7.5 million a day. And he's just um, got like passively Yeah, pretty content much at his point. There. He's just not even, not even really even trying at this point. No. So I'm just, my point is, that's what they're getting. And then these other places are down how much? Yeah. How much like these other networks and stuff falling down a cliff? You know, you have these guys, you go to the, the Variety article, where they cover everything, news and gaming and Hallmark and yeah. all yeah, it's it's pretty sad. Uh, yeah, A and E thirty two percent drop off. I'm trying to see what the biggest drop off here is. Now ESPN. Um, now they did say sports, sports went up considerably. Up. ESPN went up forty eight percent. But that's compared to last year. Yeah, and a lot of uh, you know sports it was off the air. You know, obviously right. because you know COVID. So so you know you have to consider where they're comparing it to. If it's compared to last year, of course, things like sports are going to go up considerably. Um, right, HBO was down. What did I see it a minute ago? HBO is down 36%. Were you trying to look for the biggest one? Yeah, I was trying to see what the biggest fall off. Disney Channel is one of the biggest. But then, again, a lot of people probably are Disney like, Plus. yeah, why watch Why watch the Disney Channel when we've got Disney Plus and that's where all the new stuff is? Now, Disney is trying to combat this because I do know that they release things and it's only on Disney Channel. Yeah. So I think they're trying to combat that. But it's interesting. You're seeing all this stuff and it is. It's going to Netflix and YouTube. They said chiefly Netflix and YouTube is where all the eyeballs are going. Yeah, they also said that, you know, they're basically basically at this point cannibalizing their own audience. That's true, they are. Because Nickelodeon has Paramount and Disney's got Disney Plus and Cartoon Network and Adult Swim are putting the new content, like New Adventure Time. Mm-hmm. You know, that stuff is all going on HBO Max. You know, uh, Young Justice, HBO right. Max. That, they so, would have gone Cartoon Network. No matter how you're slicing it, the days of network television are, are, are not, you know, they're going downhill because it's being replaced. And yeah. no matter how much they kick and scream and try to throw shade, at least though with the streaming services, they still have control. That's why they don't like YouTube because they can't control YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. And so they're trying to compete. And look, I mean, Disney tried. We talked about this before. We uh, had another channel that was part of Maker Studios. Mm-hmm. And Disney basically tried to buy YouTube by buying Maker Studios, thinking that all those influencers would create Disney friendly would, content. Yes, that you can control them. We own you now, so you'll do what we want. I don't think anybody stayed with them. Uh, YouTube's I, like the Wild West. The one's gonna yeah. you can't usually for the most part tell unless the people are down with being part of your network and, and there are rules that go with it. You can't really tell people what they can and can't do. As no. long as it doesn't violate the rules, you don't you, it's like the Wild West of oh, yeah. like the early days. Yep. Um and it, it's cool for creators because you can, you know, again looking at has been hotel hell of a boss, you can kind of, you know, green light your own pilot and right. produce it on YouTube and gain a following and then go make a make a show. You can do whatever you want and gain a following where you wouldn't have before gate, gatekeepers would have kept you out of Hollywood. Only the people they approved of could get their shows and get their movies and get their voice. Yeah. And now and some of these people playing video games or making their own cartoons are blasting past into their networks. Of course they're shitting themselves. 
Yeah, because no, nothing they can come up with can even touch, Mm-mm. you know, Cocoa Melon. That that never would have gotten a green light from from a network because no. they're like, God, this is simplistic and I mean, stupid. And talk about proof of concept. Yeah, that's exactly. And those man, they don't even need them though. That's the thing. I no. mean, you're past them, so why you don't even need them anymore? Nope. And they know that. Uh, but this is this is interesting. You know, I don't know if we ever did a video addressing it. You know, Disney shutting down its its a. Uh, you know, channels. Well, they did. They did that. Yeah. They shut down a lot of Disney channels because of the Disney Plus, their hot star. And I think eventually it's all going to be streaming. Um, But I think we're going to have fewer, you know, streaming services. But right now, you know, we always talked about the cord cutting and it's basically just as expensive to subscribe. I think it's more expensive. Yeah. To subscribe to all these streaming services as it was to have uh, cable. Right. So then things like YouTube are still free. Yeah. For now. (laughs) People are like, oh, it's easier to just watch on YouTube. You know, uh, and it's great for advertisers because then their ads get watched. If they were smart, if they were smart, they'd be like, let's do our streaming service. Well, I think they do it. Some of them do it as like an add on to YouTube because I'm like, you want to have kind of like a central location, a central hub for all this stuff. Mm-hmm. People don't want to open and close like 50 different apps. That's why you just go to YouTube. Yeah, yeah. They're like, yep, yep, it's all in one place. Netflix and YouTube seems to be the two places everybody's going. Yep. So there we go, guys. Uh, not looking good. Um, I think this means fewer shows unfortunately um because you know they don't have to they can just drop a new cartoon every couple of months versus... does it or does it mean they're just going to put more on to the, the streaming services I, it's been my experience now hbo max has actually done really good with the animation but it seems like they're doing less of it they're doing good stuff but they're doing less of it because they don't have to fill that 24 hour block you that's know what I'm true and you can just it's, it's, but then they have places like disney they're like we need more content yeah, but it's not going to be cartoons. It's going to be other live action crap. Well, it's, true, it's cheaper. Yeah, it's I don't cheaper. know. It's just interesting to me. So Interesting. So we're going to wrap this up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.